as a function shared by the three tiers of government, development control is aimed at ensuring proper adherence to acceptable standards in planning for infrastructural development and good habitat. The regulatory bodies of these tiers in this connection have therefore the powers to, among other things, initiate, plan, and execute development activities, as well as ensuring that they conform with global acceptable standards. Gombe State, though one of the smallest states of the Federation in terms of size, has fundamentally been having its own share of the problem of urbanization and exigencies of infrastructural development in view of its strategic location. Centrally located in the heart of the northeastern part of the country, coupled with its tremendous attractions across the region and the entire nation for its tremendous potentials in terms of trade and commerce. Over the years, coping with the upsurge of urbanization, the state has had little or no viable strategic plan to standardize its infrastructural development drive and environmental protection. The Dangwambo administration has taken the bull by the horn in not only beefing up the activities of the regulatory agencies for maintaining standards, but has also created a whole ministry for metropolitan and urban development, which not only concerns itself with regulatory matters on urban development and town planning, but also on environmental control and beautification. Preparatory to the full takeoff of the ministry, the state government set up a team headed by the Commissioner for Metropolitan and Urban Development, Hajia Fatima Abubakar, to go on a study tour of strategic cities of the Federation with Abuja Federal Capital Territory as the focal point. <laughs> While in Abuja, the team visited the Development Control Office of the FCDA, where it was received by the Director, Development Control Yahya Yusuf, and his team of experts. Views were shared and issues concerning expertise on urban development and control were discussed extensively, especially with the experience of the FCT authorities on the huge capital development projects being handled by it since creation in 1976. Indeed, the discussions have been fruitful, not only for the benefit of Gombe State, but as a way of promoting synergy among the three tiers of government. Their own interaction has been very incisive and professional, and I mean, we are glad that such exchanges are happening, and it means from the interaction we have also known certain areas that we need to work on so that if we must share ideas in such areas, then they must be ideas that are worthy and credible. At the end of the visit, we will see what and what we'll be able to borrow and see what will fit uh, into Gombe, so that at the end of it, we'll develop a very good and nice uh, model for our own state. The issue of urban renewal, environmental protection and good habitat is indeed a dynamic one in coping with the exigencies of urbanization and infrastructural development, especially against the backdrop of today's challenges faced by the construction industry, particularly in poor quality work, use of substandard materials and lack of adherence to regulations. In this connection, Gombe State has taken the lead among its peers. In Gombe, we have enjoyed relative peace, but this peace has in, uh, caused a massive influx of people into Gombe. So we see new towns springing up, satellite towns, and all this influx that caused the, our services to be overstretched, we cannot cope with it. So the executive governor foresaw the need to establish a ministry solely for the development of this state. In Abuja, Muhammad Hamza Sheikh, NTN News.